What's new now, uh, starting about two weeks back, is this button that says, uh, hey, I don't know. Uh, I have looked at some of the data. I have always had a three night minimum. I don't know how much shorter booking demand is there. If Price Labs has all the data, can we recommend these settings? So if you click on that button, what you'll see now is uh, we give two options. Uh, one is prefer, mid, uh, prefer short term stays, and one is for preferring long term stays or mid term stays. For most customers, we recommend uh, short term stays is what you should select. Uh, and, and this is generally speaking, most of the vacation rental industry takes a lot of bookings that are less than 14 nights long. Uh, so what we do here is we look at all the data in your neighborhood that uh, that is for stays that is less than 14 days long and say, okay, <clears throat> based on these booking patterns, what would we recommend? And David is going to go into like, okay, what's the math behind it in some ways. Uh, but we look at that data and come up with these recommendations. So if you see this, you'll see that, okay, we are saying your default should be three nights. We are saying for last minute, within two nights, make it a one night minimum. And within six nights, make it a two night minimum. Uh, we are also saying outside of 30 nights, just make it a five night minimum. There's plenty of longer demand that you should try and attract uh, instead of taking even three night or four night stays. And then there is the orphan night gaps, which sort of supersede everything, which kind of say, if there is a gap, so because your minimum stay for far out is five nights, there might be a four night gap created that becomes unbookable. So we are saying, if there's a gap between one and four nights, go ahead and apply a minimum stay that's same as the length of gap during that period. Now, if I choose the, the midterm one, uh, we are going to now look at all demand, including the longer demand, uh, longer stay demand. And you'll see the minimum night recommendations would be a little higher on that one. Uh, generally speaking, this would be true in cities where we see a lot of midterm demand happening. Almost half the bookings we are seeing in some cities that are just like uh, monthly stays sometimes. So we are saying do this only if you are specifically wanting to target that segment. If, if your thought is to do mixed, we would still recommend staying on the short term side of things. When you click apply and customize, uh, it's important to note that it's not just apply, it's apply and customize. The thought here is that these recommendations are driven by our data. This is uh, our recommendations without fully considering what your personal preferences are. So for example, you might say, hey, this looks fine, except I don't really want one night stays ever, right? Or I'm okay with one night stays last minute on weekdays, but not really on weekends. What you can do is you can click apply and customize, and then you can say, okay, if it is a weekend, I still want the weekends to be two nights. Uh, and then if there is a gap, I'm fine. Even, even if there is a gap, uh, if it's a one night gap on a weekend, I'm fine with it. If you are not okay with it, then you can actually do a few more things here. You can say, okay, when there's a one night gap, I actually want this to be uh, still two night minimum. I don't want a one night to be booked there. And if the gap is a bit low, higher than uh, two nights, then I'm fine with whatever the gap length is. So this way you can really customize. This would mean that on weekends, you would never get a one night booking, but on weekdays, if there's a gap or if it is last minute, then you will get, uh, get those last minute uh, one night bookings as well. 